Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Mega Otisirai, and I'm from Big 19D. And here I would like to present an article research by Edward Neibaho and Janice Jeffrey Agultong. The title is Code Switching by the Teacher in EFL Online Teaching and Learning Process at SMA Negeri 7 Medan. The background of doing this research, because in Indonesia is one of the country that has many different languages. And also in education, Indonesia used English as one of the subjects to learn. That's why we can find in teaching and learning process, teachers usually use code switching. Code switching is a social linguistic phenomenon as linguistic product of language interaction. Lin in 2013 defines code switching as the use of two language code by either students or teacher in classroom interaction. In Indonesia, code switching is commonly used by English teacher based on the assumption to make students understand what the teacher said. And according to Moore in 2010 states that the use of first language in classroom context is still considered as challenging and expected to use less to avoid such mixing of languages. He said that in teaching learning process, teacher and student have to use bahasa less. The problem is the teacher's position is so burdened. On the one hand, the teacher must use English more in teaching English. On the other hand, code switching is needed so that students can easily understand learning. So based on the explanation above, the researchers would like to analyze the reason and the, yeah, the reason of code switching used by the teacher in EFL online teaching learning process at SMA Negeri 7 Medan. And for the research methodology, this research was conducted by using descriptive qualitative. The search of data was to English teachers at SMA Negeri 7 Medan. And for the technique of collecting the data, by uh, the research, the researchers use observation through meeting Zoom by recording to get the data and to interview. And entries interview or transcription to get the reason of using code switching. Data analysis. The the result of the study are three types of code switching were found in teaching and learning process. Namely, the first one is intrasensial switching. The second one is intersensial switching. And the, the last one is tag switching. And for the reason, there are five reasons why the teachers did code switching in teaching English. The first one is to translate unknown vocabulary, to manage the classroom, to explain grammar, to emphasize some points, and the last one is to give sympathy and solidarity. Word of in 2009 stated that code switching is a strategy of using two or more languages in the same utterance. Based on the result of this research, it can be shown that the teachers did code switching in EFL, teaching and learning process at SMA Negeri 7 Medan. And the teachers not only use English in teaching, but sometimes did switch their language into Bahasa. Link it, Poplet categorizes code switching into three types, namely intrasentential switching, intersentential switching, and text switching. Then all of the types of code switching are used by the teacher in EFL online teaching and learning process at SMA Negeri 7 Medan. Intersentential switching was used dominantly by the PAF teacher. This research were, were conducted in order to focus provide the EFL teacher with a heightened awareness of the use of switching in teaching and learning process, and obviously to lead the battle of using language by eliminating it or dominating of code switching during the EFL teaching and learning process. In conclusion, 
There are, there are 60, 63 times code switching was applied by the teachers. And the type of code, uh, and the type of code switching was just our inter sentence switching uh, with 20, 29 cases and text switching with 20, uh, yeah, 20 cases. And the last is intra sentence switch, switching with 14 cases. And the teachers switch their language to translate the unknown vocabulary to manage explain grammar to manage the classroom, to emphasize some point, and to express empathy and solidarity in classroom. That's all my presentation. Thank you.